first hit really came out of nowhere <laughs> and it had that extraordinary what at the time appeared to be like a Fafisa organ sound but was not an organ I mean the, the classic runaway sound uh, can you like tell me how that sound well, that came sound about? was uh, was put together by Max Crook Maximilian right. who uh, came in my guitar player was quitting I was working in Battle Creek Michigan mm. it's a terrible place to live <clears throat> and uh, I needed a, another instrumentalist, you know, to take my guitar player's place. My drummer said, oh, there's this, there's this guy, man, uh, and, and he's got this little box, and he plays it, and he also plays with the one hand that, and he plays the piano with the other hand. Mm -hmm. He said, it's electronics, and I said, oh, I don't know about that. I never even heard of electronics in those days, mm -hmm. really. And he brought him in one night, and he set him on, he had this little box like this, about like this big, and he had it all camouflaged, all kinds of lines and all kinds of knobs, which he never even used. He didn't want anybody to copy it, you know. And he put it on his piano, played it with his left hand, he played the piano, da 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 and he would play this little thing, and he, when he right. played it, it sounded like a whole orchestra behind him in those days. It sounded like strings, and I said, you are hired, my friend. <laughs> and I hired him immediately, and uh, he never drank, never smoked. He used to bring his own cookies and his own Kool-Aid to the gig every <laughs> night. We used to work four nights a week there. And he used to, uh, and when he wasn't playing his other thing, he had the his little portable radio in his ear mm -hmm. looking at the ball game. He was a <laughs> right. baseball freak. So Max was, uh, was an amazing fellow, and I think it was one of the first electronic machines used yeah, on the record. The forerunner of the synthesizer.